Okay, so today I flew for another uh, 30 minutes total. Um, and after the third flight, well, after each flight I checked, after the third flight um, I checked and it's back. So I talked to Horizon and they suggested that I'm having corrosion build up between the rocker arm and the valve spring or the top of the valve. So they suggested I take the rocker arm off and sand it with a fine grit sandpaper to take the polish off of it or something like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to crack these off and uh, I've got my tools down here. I'll do this one with the uh, 038 millimeters. That's what I used in this one I got. And um, that that's what I, I just can't leave it at a zero gap. So apologize for the shaky camera as it is a difficult to do this with one here. Drop that one, but I got another one. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pause here. Well, I'm not gonna pause. I was, but I'm not, because here you can actually see how much oil. It's fresh after a run. Bolt. So that is the intake side. There is some oil, very little. Again, it's the number one cylinder. Apologize for the shakiness. Bone dry. I'm not complaining, I'm just thinking there's got to be a better way. So that is the exhaust. Maybe a little bit of oil here. There is, but that is about it. Wish I wasn't so shaky. I can actually feel it. Now I am going to pause and pull this off. That crack loose finally. And uh, without boogering it up, which is difficult to do. I think that's out. So let me turn this around to get all the pressure off. Turn the crank. Right. 
No, still investigating. So I haven't done really anything. I can't find anything. I took a few pictures. I'll post those up at the end, I suppose. So I'm gonna put that back in. See if it's still there. I'm not gonna snug it down just yet because it's still there. I'm gonna put oil on it. I got my red line oil. So still there. Sorry, I'm doing this by myself. I don't have a cameraman, don't have a stand. So, again, my apologies. Didn't need it anyways, right? There's a pin. Alright, so I'm going to take. I'm going to put one drop. Not even that. Put it right on there. See it turn red? And so I like this stuff. And so put this back in the There's that one drop on there. There we go. So it is not the rocker arm contact. Okay, so took a long pause. You see, number one cylinder, um, took the rocker arm off. I tried oiling the, the pin. Or goes into the rocker to see if that was it that is not it it was still squeaking so I took the valve spring and the valve keeper out and so now I'm able to um, move my light over here too to get right down to it and I can feel I can actually feel it now, I had the piston up top dead center so I can't push I won't lose this valve but I can feel it. So, I am only going to oil the valve stem itself. Be very careful not to get it anywhere else but on the valve stem. There we are. Man, I can already tell a difference. Now, there is no play in this. Not that I can tell. I forgot to get a a uh, micrometer on it to see about whether or not um, it has any actual play in it, but I can't feel any. So, oh, uh, now see, now I let go of it, it's going to fall right back in there. Well, it did a while ago. It did a second ago. So. Falling right back in. I 
Okay, I'm gonna put it back together and see what we got. Okay, so I've got it back together now. I'm gonna tighten down the rocker arm pin. Getting text messages. Okay, not snug just because I don't know what it's gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna turn this thing. So, I don't know. This isn't to say this engine is, is bad or anything like that. It's just a concern that I have because it really does sound great, runs great, has plenty of power. I just want the longevity of this thing to, to be more than just a, you know, to be great. And um, so, already still investigating, but. Uh, I'll check my clearances now and um, um, because I have five hours on it now so I'll do all the valve adjustment and go flying again on the next nice day which may be tomorrow but uh, if it uh, has more problems then uh, I'll be back. <laughs>